My name is Wendell. Uh, originally, I came from Philippines. And I came here in United States year 2006. It was on 2016. Um, there's a big change that happened in my, into my life. I've been doing a lot of uh, sinful things. Uh, I broke up my family. Uh, my wife wanted to divorce me, tried to, to reconcile, but there's, she said it's, it's over. I just by myself, all my family was back in Philippines. So that's the time that I think to myself, like, I need God. So I go to God and I, I, I cried out to God and I asked for forgiveness for the sins that I've, I've, I've done. And then all of a sudden, the, there's a, the flashback came into my mind of all the sins that I was doing back in Philippines because I was hurting a lot of people, using people. And then um, as I grew up as a Catholic, um, while I was having those guilt in my in my heart that I was thinking that to confess my sin, that I was I was started to cry to God for for forgiveness. And so I was looking for a priest to confess my sin for forgiveness. So I was waiting for for Sunday because I was I was working the time. And then on Sunday I went to I went to the church Sunday morning, only to find out that there's no. Uh, available first on Sunday that there's no confession on, on Sundays and I feel like the whole world was crushing on me the weight of my sin so I was there um, on the outside in the church I was crying because I don't know what to do and I don't know where, where to go and then um, but God sent someone to me do you, do you have a problem and, and he, he asked me he prayed for me he walked with me and he asked me like um, he told me that uh, do you know, do, do you read the Bible? Do you know God? I told him like, I know there a Bible, but I didn't read Bible and I didn't truly know God. It's the first time that um, I was talking with someone for six hours straight with only one topic. It's about God. All of a sudden, I felt the, there's a joy into my heart. Then I have this um, uh, desire to, to serve more, to give the whole Sunday to God. So I was asking God, I, I told God, God, um, I heard your word. I go to, to churches two churches already but I still wanted to, to serve you and then I realized like uh, there's a lot of homeless in my area so I started to making food making sandwiches and I go out and I give food to the to the homeless people it's like a day and night in my life because I was I was this before on these bad things depression sinful things and I started to like uh, serving the Lord and so much joy so I feel like uh, I feel like the forgiveness of, of God the love and it's I could really tell the difference on me, and I was so excited on doing that every 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 weekend, and uh, giving food and sharing Jesus on the streets. And that time, my only contact is my sister. So um, I called my sister. I told her like this is what happened to me, and I keep on and reporting my sister of everything that that was uh, I've been doing with the Lord. And my sister told me like, um, Hey, Wendell, you totally changed. And I was that's the start. I was thinking like. Oh really? I, I was changed, and I was like, I thinking like, um, am I become not normal? I am like, uh, is the desire on my heart, or just God was using on me? I started to think about it, and I feel like I was crazy because uh, on the church that I went to, I didn't see anyone doing like this. So um, I, I started to pray to God that God, I, I wanted to know if I am normal. I wanted to know to meet up someone. Uh, I don't care if it's old or young, man or woman. Also, God answered my prayer. I met this this uh, this young woman. I saw her praying on the streets with people, and I I witnessed uh, someone give their life to Christ. Well, it was and I was so encouraged, and so I could continue doing it. And then God, God uh, gave me a, a certain group of homeless people. There are six, and we I meet them up every every Wednesday. We do worship on the park. We we, I, we share Bible study, and I continue doing it. And for for four years, that was that was happening. And I keep on uh, doing ministries on them. Along the way, uh, I got remarried, and I took a mentorship of business for a year. So I my focus was decide, was divided. The the pressure of life also of being married, the responsibilities. So I started to uh, uh, not doing the ministries, and then there's happened one of the homeless he passed away, and so I feel like discouraged, and then there's a lot of problems that's coming in me, and then I lost those ministries. 
it was then that uh, after those those disappointment and um, I started to go to my uh, also to my wife's church but I feel like um, I don't belong here I started to become lukewarm I'm not doing the things of God and even my, some of my friends that uh, they invited me hey when they come we have uh, we have a uh, events we have an evangelism i started to to uh stay away from it and because and i started to doubt that the calling that i had um it, it was it was over it just only a season for that this time that i was serving the lord i have so much disappointment and i was i i was looking for a church that i could belong to i go to my friend's church but i don't feel like i don't belong to so it's been like that for like a few years after that and then one day um a few months back my friend, he's a pastor in India. He sent me a, a message on WhatsApp about the Prophet Harry's announcement they have the church here in branch here in New York. And I was working that time, and I was I received, so I didn't watch, uh, I didn't check the message. But when I come out on my work, I open my Facebook, and exactly there's this uh, the message of Prophet Harry about this, this church. So. I checked the church, I checked the, I checked the uh, on Google, and I found out that it's just walking distance away, <laughs> just a few blocks away. So while walking here on the church, um, I pray to God that God, um, I wanted to, to, to find a church, I wanted to serve you in the church, and please give me a sign if this is the church that you want me to go. And I watching the, um, the testimonies on here on TV, and I saw this uh, woman she gave a testimony that she asked direction for God and the man of God uh, spoke to her about her direction and I was thinking that I should pray this prayer so I prayed I prayed to God, God um, I don't know if I still have the calling, I don't know my direction um, please uh, use the man of God to speak to me if, and give me direction in the name of Jesus Christ uh, Pastor you are uh, a pastor I, I I used to do uh, share God on the streets before. Let me ask you a question. For God to have a plan for you, to say you are a pastor, and then after 10 years to say hey, you are not long a pastor, let me put you in another uh, thing to, to be a businessman. Is that possible? It's not possible. you born pastor, you will die as a pastor. You understand what I mean? So what happened now? This calling is inside of you is inside of you this calling Amen. but you see that the circumstances pulled you out of it the the man of god what he said is really true because um that thing really like um as was i said before that um i was doing these ministries and then i got married and also yeah it's true that i i opened up a business i'm making a business and then plus there's uh the the pressures of life, of being married, the responsibilities that uh, took me out of those calling that I have, the ministries that I was doing on the streets. What you need to do now is to go back wherever you were. Pastor, you should already uh, be an evangelist in the streets. Talk about God. This is your calling. It's very rare, listen to me, brothers and sisters, it's very rare for someone uh, like as a human being, I mean, for God to send you to be evangelist in the streets is very rare. The people that you see in the streets starting talking about God, God didn't send them there. They just do it because it's easy. Brother, now this is very serious. Very, very serious. You need to take your team. God will send you good people to start doing the service outside in the street. Yes. You understand? You need a mentor. Yes, man of God, I need it. You need someone to teach you how to do it. Okay. So you can follow your calling. Okay, Amen. I will see you. We will talk. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, much. Thank you Lord. Thank you. Yes, because um, after that, uh, I have a clear uh, direction from God, and I'm so happy because uh, I, I knew that I'm still in on the on the program of God. So after the service, I went I went home. I called my I called my friends. Hey, this is what happened. Um, the man of God spoke to me that, uh, and God called me again to, to do the works. After that, two, two Sundays I came here on the service. All the messages, it feels like it's towards, it hits me and pushing me to do the things really from God. My advice uh, to these uh, people who experience the same thing and I think that um, they miss a lot of things and uh, even, even to the point like um, we, 
we disobey God for the for the decisions that we make. Um, I encourage you, God is so merciful and He is faithful that even as, as long as we're still alive, uh, His calling is still uh, on us. I promise to God to uh, now to, to uh, by His grace to be responsible enough to, to continue and, and to serve Him and to, uh, and to press myself for, for, uh, for the works that He had for me. And I promise to serve Him with all my life.